So, welcome to the week 9 or course unit 9. And the topic for today is all about the chemical processing, the characteristics of the dark room, the chemical pressing, tank and tray method in analog photography. So, in here, we're going to talk about the different types of uh, methods on how we can develop the films. So, next week, ang pag-uusapan naman natin, paano natin i-develop yung film sa photo papers. But for now, we're just going to view yung ating... Um, Process on how to process the film. Kasama yung mga chemicals. Paano ba nagpiprint? Hindi kasi yung tayo yung digital photography eh, na, na ilalagay mo lang sa computer, dadan sa printer, yun na yun. Hindi. Iba po yung ating method when it comes to the analog photography or using the film photography. So, let's start. So, this video is a uh, draft pa lang. Hindi ko pa to finalize. So, this is, uh, I just want you to show the crime lab in Pampanga. Though I know na taga QC kayo, okay, or some of these are, or yung mga students ko galing Pampanga. Okay, so dito kasi ako nakabase sa Pampanga. So, let's start. So, this one is our police science laboratory 2. So, meron na sila na kung mag-face-to-face -face man, yan, tignan nyo, only one teacher, tapos 12 students ang allowed. Dahil nga, uh, limited face-to-face -face tayo. So, typical crime lab lang to. Yan. Pupunta kami dito sa mismong photography section. Then, nandito nakalagay ang ating mga gamit for photography. So, nandun yung mga sample of student activities kung talagang face-to-face -face tayo. The camera, the different uh, chemicals, and the photographs. Yan. So, yun yung mga camera. Meron DSLR dyan, meron ding mga analog. Dyan, yun naman yung part ng for chemical pressing. Pati tripod. Also, the timer and hair dryer. Ba't kailangan ng hair dryer kapag pinapatuyo ang film? Yan. So, the Nikon camera, D500. Yan ang DSLR natin dyan sa crime lab ng Pampanga. And we also have this one. Isa lang kinuha ko. The camera Vivitar. The analog camera naman sa Pampanga. Film yun. Pero madami po tayong camera doon. We have different sizes of film. Pati nga yung Holga na 120mm. Meron tayo. So, and then, dito sa part na to, dito yung sa may mugshot photography, nagagawin nyo din naman. Kaya, kinuhanan ko na din. And now, let's go now to the dark room. Ito. Ito yung dark room sa Pampanga. Kaya siya tinawag na dark room kasi as in literal na dark room dito. As you can see, we ju we're just using the safe light or the red light. Pero pwede rin naman gumamit tayo ng talagang white light. Pero kapag nagpaprocess tayo dyan, total darkness talaga. Red light lang ang alaw. So dito sa part na yun, yun yung mga dry area natin. Kasi doon natin ginagamit yung mga light sections for the printings of the photographic papers. Yan, pati cutter. Kung nakita nyo, may laboratory siya. Yan, yung laboratory na yun is for wet kasi. Which is yan, katulad yan sa mga acids, sa mga fixer. Ayan. Then also the tray, kung saan natin nilalagay yung mga films or sometimes yung mga photographic paper. Ayan. Sayang nga lang hindi tayo face to face and you cannot experience on how you can work here in the dark room. So, sa mga dark room natin, nakalagay din dyan yung mga protocols, di ba? What should you should do to wash your hands, ganyan. Or even on how to use the different uh, gadgets here, like the contact printer or even the enlarger. Yan, kapag pinatay mo talaga yung safe light, yan, as in black lang ang makita mo dyan. Kasi ang, ang dark room, ang pintura niya, color black talaga. Kasi as in dark. Then, syempre, kailangan nyo magsuot lagi na uh, yung coat nyo. Ayan. Ayan yung photo and larger on how to use it. Ito yan. 
meron din tayong demonstration dyan. Next week naman yan. Next week natin gagamitin yan yung photo enlarger. Pero as of now, we will stick to the chemical processing within the films. Though, hindi ang, ang ginapangit nga lang nung araw na yun, hindi kami nakapag-process ng films kasi bawal kasi pumasok at saka lumabas. So, wala kaming naka-take na photos or gumamit ng film using the camera kasi bawal kami lumabas once na pumasok kami ng school because of that pandemic. So, yan yung mga ginagamit natin kapag film. Don't you worry. May, meron naman ako na sample video on how to use those. Cutter. Paper cutter. Then the trays. Yan ang tinatawag natin tank. Saan natin nilalagay yung mga film. Yan. Ganyan lang kaliit yung sa dark room ng uh, Pampanga. Okay. Okay. The dark room essentials. So, yun ang dark room as in complete total darkness. So, dark room essentials, darkness. The ideal dark room is pitch black. Ayan. But total darkness is sometimes difficult to achieve. Kung nakita nyo dun sa mismong video, meron pa kang si, uh, si, si ngaw yun eh. Or parang uh, pinaka konting butas dahil dun sa aircon. Pero tinatakpan pa din namin yun. Kasi kailangan talaga dark kapag nagpa-process tayo ng films. Kasi nga, di ba, as we uh, discussed dati about the film, yung mga film natin, sensitive sila sa light. So, para hindi sila masira, kailangan i-process natin sila in a total darkness. So, here's a good rule of thumb for the minimum amount of darkness required. If you don't see any light in the room over a period of 5 minutes, it is a dark enough for a normal usage. So, hindi mo pwedeng tawag, tawagin dark room yan kung for example ang pintura niya is puti. Tapos kahit patayin mo yung ilaw, eh, ganun pa rin. So, kailangan black talaga. So, there are two separate areas in the dark room. We have the dry area and the wet area. Yung dry area, ito yung nakita ko sa yun sa may pinaka-left part niya, di ba? Near an electric outlet, kung saan yung sinasaksak yung mga printer. Contact printer and enlarger printer. So, yun namang wet area naman, ito yung sa may kabila, doon sa right side, wherein nakalagay yung mga developing trays, the water, the film, and developing tanks and chemicals. So, dalawa ang area ng dark room, the dry area and wet area. So, we also have the white light and safe light. Yung white light, ito yung normal na kapag sinindihan mo talaga yung ilaw, yung bulb, yung mismong um, fluorescent doon. So, use it for negative selection, mixing chemicals, cleaning up, inspect, inspecting finished prints, just to be sure to turn it off when handling an exposed film and paper. So, kapag naglilinis ka naman doon or naghahalo ka pa lang ng chemical, okay lang na gumamit tayo ng white light. Okay lang yan. Ginagamit natin yung safe light or yung color na red na light. Okay, yung red light. Kapag ina-expose na natin or nilalabas natin yung film at saka yung photographic paper. Kasi as we all know, the film and photographic paper are the sensitized materials or yung mga sensitive sa light. So, the photographic paper and light film is designed to be handled under certain color, dim lights without adversely affecting the paper. Ah, uh, isa pa, yung film naman. Yung kasing uh, photographic paper, pwede kang magtrabaho ng nakasindi yung safe light, yung red light. Pero kapag sa film, as in black, wala kang dapat makikita. Kaya nga, meron pa kaming changing bag eh. No, which is, papakita ko sa inyo ano yung changing bag na yun. Uh, kapag uh, naglalagay ka ng film sa mismong tank, kailangan naka-total darkness ka pa. Or kung nasa loob ka naman ng darkroom, kailangan nakapatay din ang safe light natin. Kasi super sensitive po ang ating film. So, what is darkroom? Oh, let's us, let us watch this. This is a formal discussion about the darkroom. Hi, I'm Nick Brandreth, Historic Process Specialist at the George Eastman Museum. Today, we're going to show you what a darkroom is, what you might find inside, and how it's used. 
A dark room is exactly what it sounds like. It's a room that can be made completely dark. This is so a photographer can handle light sensitive photo material like film or photo paper without risk of exposing it to white light. A safe light is a light source with a specific colored filter, generally red, yellow, or orange in color. Safe lights are most commonly used when handling photographic paper. Unlike modern film, which is sensitive to red, green, and blue light, photographic paper is only sensitive to blue light, which means we can handle it under red safe light without any risk of ruining our paper. A paper safe is a light proof box that allows you to safely store your photographic paper. Often when printing in the dark room, a photographer will have mga, to switch between safe light safe. and white light to inspect their print. Light. The paper safe ensures that you safely store your paper without the risk of exposing it to white light. And developing rail and tank. When developing your own 35 millimeter or 120 film, you're going to need a reel and a tank like these. The film is loaded onto the reel in total darkness. So yun, ah, example ng metal reels. Pero meron tayong mas makabago ngayon na plastic reel, which is mas madaling gamitin. But the reels help to keep the film from itself during development. Once your film is loaded on the reel, it's placed in the tank, which has a special light-proof lid that allows processing chemistry to be poured in and out safely without exposing the film. An enlarger is used to make large prints from small negatives. Our piece of film is placed in a carrier na printer. that sits at the top sa inyo next week. of our enlarger. The enlarger head can be moved up or down in combination with different enlarging lenses. This will give us our desired size for our final print. Once the negative image is focused and you're happy with the size you've chosen, a piece of light sensitive paper is placed underneath and exposed to light and then processed into a positive image. Trays are used to hold your chemistry when developing photographic paper. Man. Each is roughly the same size or yung slightly mga, larger uh, than the print you're making. Yung mga chemicals na yan, meron talagang the solutions kung ilan ang pinagmimix, which is pag-aaral natin today. Stop bath and fixer. Developer is what makes the images appear on your photographic Man. paper or film. It's a chemical that converts the silver grains in your film back into metallic silver. Stop bath is quite simple. It stops the development action. Fixer removes all the unused silver from your paper or film, ensuring that it's no longer sensitive to light. These are just some of the basic tools that you'll find in a dark room. If you're eager to dig deeper, visit the museum's website and take a workshop with us to learn even more. So that is the dark room. Sabi ko nga, meron siyang dry area, meron din siyang wet area. At saka yung mga pinakita niya are just sample or the basic uh, materials or equipments na makikita nyo sa loob ng dark room. Okay, the chemical processing. Ano ba yung mga chemicals na kailangan during the processing of the film. So, after the exposure of the film to light in the picture, taking a photographic paper during printing, the next step would generally be chemical processing. So, in black and white pressing, the steps are, develop, are development, stop, bat, and fixation. Meron tayong developer, stop, bat, and fixation. In color pressing, the steps are color development, stop, fix, and stabilizer. So, development. Paano po ba yung development, ma'am? So, the process by which a latent image is an emulsion, in an emulsion is made visible. If nakita nyo from uh, yung color gray na film, magiging, uh, ano siya, magiging colored siya or parang magkakaroon na siya ng muka. Kung nakita nyo naman doon sa photographic paper, from white paper, naging siya, nagkaroon siya ng contouring drawing. Ang tawag doon is development. So, the process by which latent image, ang sabi nga natin sa latent, kapag the word the latent, it means hidden, nakatago, ba? Is made 
visible. It is the process of reduction. So the exposed silver highlights are reduced to metallic silver. There is a separate developer for film. Kapag naman film ang dinedevelop natin, ang lalagay natin chemical is what we call D76. Kapag naman photographic paper ang dinedevelop natin, kailangan natin ng D72 Dectol. So, the factor that affects developing time are agitation, temperature, concentration of chemicals, and exposure. So, that is development. Dinedevelop natin yung latent image. So, ito yung unang-unang chemical na i-expose natin yung mesmong ating film or minsan yung photographic paper. Okay? So, and then... Uh, After ng development, meron tayong tinatawag na stop bat. Ano naman yung stop bat, ma'am? Uh, it helps the developer action in appropriate moment. It also prevents the contamination of developer and fixer from each other. Okay? An intermediate bat between developer and the fixer, it is usually a combination of water plus acetic acid. Yung acetic acid, dito lang yung parang vinegar or just plain water. Primarily, its function is to prevent the contamination of the two chemical solution. That is the stop bat. Okay? Ano yung purpose ng stop bat? Okay? Para lang mag-stop. Or para lang magkaroon ng, for example, dalawa kasing chemical. We have the developer at saka yung fixer. So, bago tayo maglagay ng another chemical na fixer, kailangan mag-stop bat muna tayo. Kaya nga minsan, anong, ano lang ang nilalagay nila? Plain water. Okay? Or sometimes, water plus acetic acid. Water lang tapos something konting na vinegar. Okay? So, again, we have development. We have the stop bat. And the last one, we have the what we call fixation. Ano yung fixation? It makes the developed image permanent. So, permanent na siya when it is followed by thorough washing. In this processing stage, the unexposed and undeveloped silver halide crystals are dissolved and removed from the emulsion of the photographic material. So, sa fixation, yung ating mesmong, kung kanwari, ano lang yung na-develop na image from that development or developer, kailangan magiging permanent na siya. Kaya nga tinatawag niyang fixation. Can you uh, remember yung problema noon? Ano nga yung problema noong history ng photography? Ano yung number one problema nila? Ha? Kaya tayo nag-iba-iba ng, di ba, naging heliographs, naging hanggang sa na-develop, nakita ni Talbot, nakita ni Daguerre. Ano yung problema? What is the main problem before? In, uh, in photography or in developing the films and photographic paper, what is the main problem? Nasusunog. Nasusunog, di ba? Na habang tumatagal, eh nagiging total dark yung ating image. Kasi nga, anong problema? Hindi nila hinuhugasan yung mga natirang silver halides or yung unexposed silver halide crystals. So dito, dahil nga modern na tayo, eto yung tinatawag natin na fixation. Ayan. So, dito sa fixation, ginagawa na niyang permanent yung image natin. So, therefore, kahit mailawan man yan or ma-expose na siya sa light, ito na yon Wala nang masusunog na iba. Hindi na siya magiging total dark. That is the purpose of fixation. Making the develop image permanent and removing the remaining silver Halides. So, the process of removing unexposed silver halides remaining in the emulsion after the first stage of development of the latent image. So, the usual composition of an acid-fixing solution are a solvent for silver halide known as hypo, an anti-staining agent like acetic acid, a pre preservative like sodium sulfite, and hardening agent like potassium alum. Yun ang mismong uh, components or laman ng ating fixer na chemical. So, let's watch this one. Ito naman is a video din ng gamit natin sa laborator, Crime Lab. changing bag. Papakita ko rin sa inyo. Black and white film. The reels. Metals yan. Meron din tayong plastic. Papakita ko rin sa inyo. So, reels. Yan yung metal reels. 
Reels. Kung nakita nyo, ito yung pinapaikot niya kanina nung lalaki. Ayan. Metal kasi yan. Para silang nakakoil. Ikiklip mo doon sa mismong gitna. Nakita nyo ba yun? Doon mo ikiklip yung pinakatulo ng isang film. Then, iikot mo siya. Hanggang sa mapuno yan. Hanggang sa matapos yung film mo. That is Reels. Okay? Tapos, ito yung developing tank. So, after mong nilagay yung mismong film doon sa Reels, lalagay mo dyan sa developing tank. So, that is a metal developing tank. Pero as of now, okay, or as of today, many of us are using the plastic reels kasi mas madali siyang gamitin. Pati yung plastic na developing pump. Mahirap kasi yan eh. Kung siguro face-to-face -face lang, ipapagawa ko yun sa inyo. Pabilisan makalagay ng film dyan. Pero dahil hindi face-to-face, uh, kailangan for video purposes na lang muna. Yan yung metal rules natin. And then, yung isa, papakita ko din is the plastic rules naman. So, iba-iba kasi yung sizes. Pwede maliit lang. Pwede, pwede din man yung double. Double na nang magkapatong yung mismong reel. Yan yung plastic reels. Yan, which is, yan ang laging ginagamit ngayon. Pwede pong magkapatong, ma'am. Dalawang film, pwede po. Or pwede rin namang isa lang. video kung paano nilalagay yung film dyan sa mismong plastic film. Bakit merong sa gitna, ma? Kasi dyan mo nilalagay yung liquid. Maglalagay ka. Kung nakita nyo may funnel doon sa mismong unang video, parang ipudo, doon natin lalagay yung liquids. Ayan, then tatakpan ko. Then, ito. Kung magamit tayo ng scissor, Sometimes ito yung opener. Can opener lang yan or sometimes yung film clip. Ayan. Para ilalagay natin sa changing bag. Yung changing bag, ginagamit dyan in case na wala ka yung dark room and you need to put the film. Kasi ang gagawin, kailangan ilagay mo muna yung film sa loob ng metal rail. So, yan ang ating changing bag. Ayan. So, lalagay mo muna yan sa loob na nakaloob pa yung film na hindi pa sira yung film. And then, ano ang gagawin mo? Pagawa ko yun sa students ko kung face to face. Papapasok ko yung gamit, tapos lalagay nila dapat yung film. So, habang ganyan, dapat marunong ka talagang mga pa. Ayan, kakapain mo from the moment na gugupitin mo siya, o open mo yung film at ilalagay sa mismong ring. So, yan yung mga ano natin, developer and the acid fix. Meron din tayong timer kasi po ang pag-develop ng mga film merong oras hindi dapat sumusobra. Then tongs. Kailangan natin ng tongs kasi bawal nating hawakan kapag medyo basa pa siya. So, yan yung mga wet area natin. Kasi kami ginagamit namin, water na lang for stop pad. Diba? Kasi ang stop pad para lang hindi pagsama yung dalawang developer at acid fixer. So tapos, ina-agitate namin yan by rolling or sometimes uh, by shaking yung mismong developing pump. Within specified time. Specific. Then, after nun, kung uh, pwede rin naman kasi mag 
develop ng milk by using a tray. Hindi ka gagamit ng developing tank, pero pwede ng tray. Mamaya ipapapanood ko sa inyo. So, that is the uh, basic equipments na meron kami sa Crime Lab 2. Okay. So, film processing. So, ito na. Film processing, ha? Hindi pa yung mismo photographic paper. It can be carried out in trays, tanks, or merchandise equipment. Ito, mas maganda yung merchandise equipment. Pero, wala akong ganun videos para ipakita sa inyo. pang materials must be handled in total darkness. Other materials like blue films and pang printing papers are handled under the safe light. So, what are the equipment for film pressing? Sometimes, we have tank or tray. The developing reel, which is yung pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. Pwedeng plastic or metal. We also have the opener for film cartridge or pliers. Or yung pinakita kong parang pwede na rin yung can opener. Sometimes kasi yun ang ginagamit namin. So, some 35 mm pills have reusable cartridge that can be snapped on by hand. But others can only be opened with a pair of pliers. So, yung iba kasing mga film na open yan kapag doon sa mga specific na opener for film. Or sometimes kami, in-open nga namin through the use of can opener or sometimes the scissor. Kaya pinasok pati yung scissor sa loob ng changing bag. So, we have scissor, thermometer, kailangan din, timer, yan, the funnel, the photographic sponge, film clips for dyeing, o yung alam mo yung hinahang sila. Then, three glass of plastic bottles for storing mixed solutions, yung for the developer, the fixer, and yung stop bot. Then, three beakers or yung para ma measure natin kung ilang uh, percent ba ng liquid ang ganto para magamit for fixer or sometimes for developer. Tignan nyo to. This is an animation how and how they will um, tawag dito develop a film. That is just a simple animation, pero meron din naman tayong actual. Okay, film processing. So, yung mga film natin kasi, yung mga ginagamit natin chemical, sometimes, for example, ang nabili mong film is Fuji film. Meron din sila talagang uh, parang certain chemicals na, o oh, ito dapat yung solution na gagamitin mong chemical. Kasi ito yung film na ginagamit mo. So, small format films like the 35mm is the best developed in cylindrical daylight developing tank or yung pinakita namin sa inyo na color black. Yan. That accommodate the spiral reel. The tank and the reel can be stainless steel or made of hard plastic. So, these tanks usually have a light, tight lid with provision for pouring solution in and out while covered so that so that only one tank is required for the entire process. So, metal reels have a center clip. Yung sinasabi kong parang meron siyang clip sa gitna. Doon mo iipit yung pinaka film mo, yung end ng film mo. The remaining lens slips into the groups created by the spiral. Then, iikot mo lang. Metal reels come in a fixed size. So, the plastic reel is loaded. Ito naman, sa plastic reel naman, kung yung metal reel iniipit mo sa gitna, sa plastic reel naman, ipapasok mo lang siya sa taas. Okay? Papakita ko rin sa inyo kung paano pina, uh, nilalagay yung film sa plastic reel. Parang niroroskas mo lang kasi yan eh. So, the plastic reel is loaded by simply pushing the film into the spiral form, the outer end. So, it has a flange that moves with back and forth and action But the back and forth action after the film had been encased on the outside guides last. The back and forth movement fitted smoothly, smoothly into the groups, and the plastic reel can be adjusted to accommodate the different film 
sizes. So, yun ang kinagandahan ng plastic grill. Once na napasok mo na sa pinakalabas, iroskas roskas mo na lang para nag-open ka ng mismong delata ng bote. Ganun lang. Hanggang sa pumasok lahat or malagay lahat doon yung part ng films. So, film processing procedure using the tank method of film development. So, sabi ko nga sa'yo, we have two parts. Sometimes the tank or sometimes tray. So, pero usually, ang ginagamit natin nowadays is yung tinatawag nating tank method. So, number one na gagawin mo is kailangan mo munang i-mix yung mga uh, chemicals na kailangan mo for developer, stop, but, and fixation. So, we have number one, mix the developer, stop bat, and fixer according to the instructional manuals. Kasi kapag bibili ka ng chemicals for fixer, pag bibili ka lang ng chemicals for developer, meron yung manual na, o oh, ito, lagyan mo ng one-fourth cup of water, one-fourth cup of solution, one-fourth cup of acetic acid, ganun siya. So, ganun ang pag-create ng mga uh, chemicals natin for the films, which is papakita ko din naman sa video. Ang gagawin is kailangan meron kang beaker. Yung, mis yung mismong parang cylindrical glass na merong measurement para alam mo ilan yung nilalagay mong chemicals. So, in a dry area, lay out the film, opener, scissor, reel, and the tank so they can be re readily located in the dark. So, kapag, for example, ayan, nasa dark room ka na. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, kapag ang film nilalagay natin sa mismong developing tank, di ba? Meron siyang film house or yung pinakalalagyan na ng film. Okay. Kapag yun, ilalagay na natin sa metal rails, kailangan nakapatay ang ilaw sa dark room, pati yung safe light. Okay? So, therefore, wala talagang makita. As in, total dark ang makikita mo. So, to prevent that, kung for example, natatakot ka sa total darkness, kailangan mo ng red light, kailangan mong gamitin pa yung red yung changing bag na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. Yung changing bag na yon So, ako ang pinapagawa ko sa mga students ko, habang nasa labas pa kami, wala pa sa dark room ipapalagay ko na yung film sa mismong, alen sa mismong developing tank. So, therefore, kahit pag pumasok kami sa dark room ng uh, merong safe light or naka-on yung red light, eh okay lang na ilabas na yung mismong developing tank. Mahirap kasing ilabas yung film, okay? Mahirap mong ilabas ang film ng merong ilaw at saka red light dahil masisira po talaga siya. Yan. So, in complete darkness, open the film cartridge by simply prying off the cap, ayan, opposite the end, where the long spool core protrudes and extend the film, then remove it from the tips of the spool core, then ipapasok mo siya sa metal reel or yung sa plastic reel. So, reeling procedures. Paano tong reeling procedure, ma'am? Number one, Hold the film with the emulsion side in or down loosely in one hand while the other hand tools holds the reel. So, engage film's end at the center clip or hook of the reel. Slightly squeeze the film with by pressing between the thumb and four fingers so it are narrows just enough to fit into the reel. Don't worry, merong video dito. Turn the reel with the other hand to pull it the film onto the reel. So do not apply excessive pressure kasi nga 'di ba, nilalagay mo pa lang yung film sa reel. So kapag dapat yung pinakatip lang ang hinahawakan mo, bawal mong hawakan yung mga na-expose na sa camera kasi pwedeng magkaroon ng smudges or fogs yung mismong film natin pangit na yung ma-develop na image. So, let the film pass freely. So, it will straighten out full within its spiral space of the reel. So, after none, after the reeling of the film is done, place it inside the daylight developing tank. So, after mong nalagay na mismo yung uh, films doon sa mismong reel, metal reel man yan, or uh, plastic reel, ilalagay mo na sa developing tank. At kapag nalagay mo na sa developing tank, wag na wag mo nang bubuksan yon hanggat sa hindi ka natatapos na lagyan ng chemical yon So, kahit ilabas mo na yon within daylight, or kahit igalawin mo na yon sa loob ng dark room ng merong red light, okay na po. So, white light can now be open, sabi nga niya. Remove the lid cover of the tank and pour the film developer slowly until the tank is full. Pupunuin yung mismong, pupunuin natin ng chemical yung mismong tank na yun. Invert the tank, then agitate it for a few seconds. Timer should start now. So, once nalilagay mo na yung chemical, kaya tayo may timer, 
kailangan kasi i-agitate mo siya. So, intermittent agitation should be made during developing time. After 5 to 6 minutes, pour out or drain the developer. So, kailangan nila, linagay mo yung mismong uh, developer natin doon, and then yun na, i-agitate. Yung agitation means moving. Ginagalaw mo siya, iniikot natin siya. Minsan, side by side ang ginagawa nila. So, after that, put it into the stop bat. Ano nga yung stop bat? This is the process wherein um, paghihiwalayin lang natin yung certain chemicals para lang hindi sila maghalo. So, sometimes, ang ginagamit natin sa stop bat ay, ano lang? Ano nga lang yung ginagamit? Water. 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 Yeah. So, agitate na lang sa more and after. More yan, 15 to 20 seconds lang. Doon sa una mong ilalagay na chemical, ano nga yung una nating ilalagay na chemical? Yung developer. Okay. Ano yung the, uh, chemical for developer natin sa film? That is the... Ano yun? Yung 72, di ba? Ito yung developer natin sa film. So, i-develop muna 5 to 6 minutes. After nun, lalabas natin yon. Ilalagay muna natin sa isang uh, lalagyanan yung, yung chemical na yon. And then, after mong tinapon yon or nilabas sa mismong tank yung chemical na developer, ang ilalagay mo ay water. So, within 15 to 20 seconds, kailangan mo siyang stop bat. After that, after mo nun, itatapon mo yung tubig kung saan, kung after mo nang mag-stop that, within 20 seconds, ilalagay mo na yung fixing bat. So, then, magkakaroon kayo ng agitation should also be done often after 15 to 20 minutes. Drain the fixer from the tank. So, use developer, stop bat, and fixer can be used again and again. Ito, Ma'am, pwede bang ulitin yun? Kasi ma'am, di ba, pinuno na natin yung ano, yung film. Ayan. Pwede bang ulitin yung chemical? Pwede pa naman. Kung kanwari, apat yung film uh, reels mo. Tapos, gusto mong gamitin ulit yung fixer at saka yung developer na chemical. Pwede gamitin? Pwede naman. Sabi niya, di ba? Use developer, stop bat, and fixer can be used again and again. But instead of putting them back in the bottles or fresh or a new solution, pour them in separate container so it will not contaminate the fresh or unused solution. So after that, after mong magkaroon ng fixation or ng fixer, you will wash the negative preferably in running water for another 15 to 20 minutes. So remove the negative from developing reel, get the sponge and immerse it in the water, then squeeze it to remove the excess water. So wipe the negative with the sponge slowly to remove the water adhering on the negative. So this must be done on both sides of the negative. Water that adheres on the surface of the negative can cause watermarks if allowed to dry without wiping. So pinapunasan natin yan. And then, lastly, you will hang that negative to dry at a clean, dust-free place or better in a negative dryer. Kaya tayo merong hair dryer and sometimes photo dryer tapos hinahang nila yan, kiniklip yun sa may sampayan. So, panoorin natin. Ayan o, oh, panoorin natin to kung paano nga ba nagpa-process ng film.
negative. So, ang tawag natin sa developed uh, images in the film are what we call the negatives. Ayan. So, meron silang dryer. Ayan. Sometimes, ginagamit natin is hair dryer lang. Ayan. Then, you will just hang it on the clean and dusty area. So, that is the procedure of the tank method for film development. The last one na i-discuss ko for today is kapag tray method naman. What if wala kasing tank? Diba? Or yung, yung color black na yun, ma'am. So, pwede rin naman kasi tayong mag-develop ng film, lalo na yung mga malalaking film. May mga films kasi na, ba diba, hindi sila 35mm na ang size. Merong mga film na mas malalaki. So, lalo na sa mga camera na malaki din. So, magkakaroon tayo ng tray method of film development. So, the developer is placed on the tray. In total darkness, remove the film from the cartridge, then hold on the end of the film and immerse the film in developer in the tray, making sure that the film is thoroughly dipped until the whole length of the film is evenly wet. Then, timer will start now. Parehas din naman sila. Parehas din naman ng procedure. Ang pinagkaiba lang, hindi siya sa loob ng tank. Nakatiha, ah, naka, ano siya sa mismong tray. Nakalagay sa mismong tray. So, nakikita mo siya. So, with seesaw or pulling up or down, parang sinasayaw mo yung mismong film sa uh, solutions or chemical solutions. Move the film from one end to the other, to the other, then back continuously until developing time of Four to five minutes is done. So then transfer it to the stop bot. Ganon den. Umau na sa developer. Then stop bot after non is the fixer. So transfer it to stop bot for ten to fifteen seconds with the same motion. Thereafter, place the film in the fixer and execute same motion for about five minutes. Then you can now open the white light. So continue the fixing until the required time is finished. Next will be the washing and drying of the negative. So, this developing procedure is actually not recommended. Kasi, mas okay talaga sa, sa tank. Kasi nga, mas nakasecure. Tingnan nyo. This developing procedure is actually not recommended because the film has a long contact with air. So, during the procedure, which can cause aerial fog. Besides, it is more tedious and tiring, especially with 36 exposure film. So, mas inaano pa din nila na gumamit na lang ng tank method. Pero kasi kapag malaki naman ang film mo, okay, kailangan tray method na ang gamitin. Watch this video kung paano niya ginagawa yung tray development. Hi. In this video, I'm condensing down to that is 10 a negative. minutes Process what has negative been na yan, uh, months or even years of refinement of the technique to develop a sheet negative film. In this case, it's 8x10 film. 8 in by tray. 10 yan, so this is tray development, which film. is the most simple and cheapest way to develop negative film, but has a great flexibility. If you're new to film photography or if you are struggling with uh, benefit from this video na. and I organized it in, uh, this is going to be my most important video and it can the thing to do is to dust off every time before loading the film your film holders and I do this with a uh, an anti-static brush. I really dust off the nice holder completely uh, and the dark slide as well. Uh, dust and I just make sure that there is no contamination whatsoever. And then once the negative will be loaded, I store the film holder in new Ziploc bags and I don't take them out until it's time to uh, take the image, take the shot. You need to clean obviously also the surface or the changing tent you're working on and uh, your camera quite often. Number two is use gloves. This is not only for safety because some of the 
chemicals are uh, indeed toxic, but also it will avoid you to, make, to get uh, finger marks and oils on the negatives. And most importantly, it will avoid to uh, transfer heat uh, from the hands to the film so that you can have marks of uh, uneven development in some areas of the film. Number three is that we use a single tray for a single function every time. So I have, this is my pre-soak, development, and stop, and fixer. And as you can see, using this tray, for uh, it's fine for development, but using it for different options, this would be problematic. Number four is to pre-soak the negatives. This is important because it will give a more even start of the development once the negatives are transferred from the pre-soak bath to the developing bath. So yung nilagay Don't niya soak yes, yung all the mga, negatives at niya, once yung mga because this is going to uh, make them stick together. Tip hirap number five photography. is practice how to transfer um, a stack so of negatives. Ka or this can be difficult because madilim. as you can see so, minsan, hindi the na central na negatives Kaya tend to na lang slide nila nila down, uh, especially after the developing bath the emulsion gets very soft and the negative is very slippery. So you want to make sure you develop or learn a technique where you can safely transfer four so at the beginning. Yan, transfer lang niya lahat yon. From that one, Number seven, from that one, uh, it's from use that one, a development time that is sufficiently so long, and then the fixer. ideally so meron tayong, ganun din, pareho Number din yung eight, timer ng, uh, all amount of chemicals, but like uh, to develop ng timer ng ating, a single negative and you're not going to have any shuffle because you have a timer negative. yung mga yan. Okay. Push it down yan. totally. Paano Don't let it flow. Yan. And to get a more even yung... development, I rotate 180 degrees the negatives siya, and then halfway to my development time. Number 13 is transfer all your negatives together, drip them down a little bit and quickly move them to the next path. So number 14 is to use surfactant in the last step of the washing process so that the Sometimes water is going to drip each. off uh, when you're going to hang the real clips to hang your negatives. As you can see, uh, different clips uh, can uh, rust or leave some uh, metallic debris that can to help you in uh, get So yun lang nak. Yun ang naman ang process ng ating tank method of Hi. development. In this video, I'm... So that's it. Do you have any questions about the uh, discussion of the film processing? Ha? Huh? Do you have any questions? Ako may tanong sa inyo. What are the two methods on how we can uh, develop a film? What are the two methods? Tank. Tank, Tank and... Tank one, tray. Okay. Tray. What are the three basic steps for developing a film? Developer, stop bath, and ano man. Ano isa? Developer, stop bath, and? Fixer. Fixer. Okay. Usually, the stop bath is just a plain? Water. Water. What is the purpose of having a developer? Ano yung purpose ng developer? Ano yung pinaka-purpose ng developer? The, the purpose of developer is to show the latent image or nakatakot na image. Ano naman yung fixer, ma'am? Ano ginagawa ng fixer? Permanent image, ma'am. Para maging Develop permanent image. yung image at nire-remove yung mga remaining silver halides para hindi na masunog. Madali lang, di ba? So, do you have any questions? Okay, ito. Question ko sa inyo. Another and uh, putting the film into the reel. Kailangan ba, okay lang bang gumamit ng red light? Bawal po. Bawal. Kailangan in total, darkness. Darkness. Okay. Medyo madali lang yung topic natin today. So, for that, now, I will go to the, uh, to your activity. So, lab activity number 14. So, for this week, we have 14, 15, and 16, which is very madali na lang. 
So, ayan. So, dahil nga uh, hindi tayo actual ngayon, walang face-to-face, -face, hindi ko kayo pwedeng pagalawin sa mismong lab activity. So, dito naman is dark room. O, mag-drawing kayo ng dark room. Draw an accurate representation of dark room. Then, you need to identify its parts. So, saan yung dry area, wet area. So, i-discuss nyo siya. So, magdo-drawing kayo sa mismong band paper, then katulad ng mga ibang activities nyo, i-discuss nyo yung mga parts ng dark room. Ganun lang. Another. Tapos, i-upload yung video, ilalagay ang uploaded video link dito, and then ilagay nyo din dito yung picture ng mismong drawing nyo na dark room. So, lagay nyo ng label at saka parts, pati na yung mga gamit niya. Okay? And then, punta naman. May tanong kay Lab Activity number 14? Wala po. Okay, let's go now with the Lab Activity number 16 naman. Ah, 15 muna, sorry. Okay, kay Lab now Activity number 15 naman, Ah, uh, ito naman, instruments used in film pressing. Ano po to, ma'am? So, identify nyo lang. Ano ba yung ginagamit natin for film pressing? We have the tank, we have the reels, we have, ah, uh, we have scissor, we have opening, ah, uh, yung mismong opening for the film, or opener for the film. Yun lang. So, i- Ma'am, kailangan pa ba naming i-drawing? No, just research for a photo. Kaya nga, provide a photo. And then, describe mo lang ano ang ginagawa ng mga reels, ano ginagawa ng mga opener, ano ginagawa ng tank, ano ginagawa ng tray, pati yung mga chemicals. Okay? Fixer, stop bat, and mismo yung developer. Kailangan ba ng video dito, ma'am? The answer is no. Hindi po kailangan ng video dito kasi kailangan mo lang i-research lang naman and i-describe kung ano yung purpose ng mga instrument na yan. May tanong kay Lab Activity number 15? Ah, may lang ano, may lang instrument mo. Lahat ng instrument na didiscuss sa inyo, including in my videos, pati dun sa mga nakalagay sa PowerPoint. Kaya wala akong nilagay dyan kung ilan eh. Kasi the more na kompleto yan, the more na mas mataas ang grade. Okay tayo dun? Ma'am, dyan po sa instrument yung ano no, ma'am, picture? Oo, oh, oh, yes. Dito yung picture na. Pati na yung okay. name niya, ha? Lagay nyo na rin yung name. Okay. Okay. And Bali, the... Ah, sige, ano yun? Tada column po, isang Hindi, item. Hindi, uh, pwede yung ano, pwede yung tatlong item sa isang column. Hmm, sige po. Okay. Hindi ko na siya nilagyan ng partition kasi nga, alam ko, iba-iba yung natutunan ng iba. Yung iba niya lalagay, dalawa lang. So, mas babagsak sila. Lab activity number 16... Okay, ito, medyo mahirap-hirap to. Uh, ito naman, ang gagawin nyo dito is, uh, ito, identify the step-by-step -step procedure of black and white film processing. So, pwede kayong mag-provide ng photo, mag-research mag kayo ng photo. Well, for example, una po, imimix muna yung mga developers or yung mga chemical solutions. So, maglagay ka ng pictures dyan and then describe mo. Picture and then Describe mo. Ma'am, what if wala po makitang picture? Pwede na nyo mang i-drawing. Tapos yung drawing nyo, yun ang ilagay nyo yung picture dyan. So, anong gagawin? After doon, hindi lang siya matatapos sa mismong picture and description na nilagay mo, i-discuss mo siya through video para malaman natin if talagang kahit hindi mo siya ginawa ng actual, kung kaya mo namang i-explain, therefore, mas maganda. Ibig sabihin, kahit hindi tayo nag-actual sa mismong or sa loob ng darkroom dahil na-explain mo naman siya, therefore, alam mo kung paano gawin yung mismong processing ng ating film. Nagkakaintindihan. Ma'am, what if gagamit ako ng props habang, uh, habang nag-explain ako? Pwede naman po, much better. Hindi lang po yung drawing or yung mga photos ko. Much better po. Okay, and then just link or just post the... Uh, dalawa to ha. Yung steps for tank. Ayan. And steps for the tray method. Okay. Then, lalagay ang link dito sa baba. Do you have any questions about this lab activity number 16? May tanong? Photos dito and then description. Or parang uh, yung explanation nyo. Step by step yan. Nalagyan nyo ng numbers. Do you have any questions? Tapo. Okay, so I will stop this. Kung oh, ilang step din yun, ma'am. Sa tingin mo, ilang steps ba yung uh, pinakita ko sa inyong process kanina? 
Diba? Walang definite kasi depende yan sa natutunan nyo. The, the more nakita kong complete yan, the more na mas mataas ang grade. Ganun lang yun. Okay, I will stop this recording.